Hi friends, welcome again to this session on search and in this session we are going to discuss an important topic which is finding square root of a plus root b. So you would have encountered these kind of problems where a cert is given and a compound cert is given and you have to find out the square root of that cert. Now where a and b are rational numbers, please be careful and b is not a perfect square. Because if b is a perfect square, then it is no more a third. Now, how to find out square root of a plus root b? So we are saying, let us say a plus root b square root, that is what we have to find out, is root x plus root y. Okay, root x plus root y. So it is uh, natural to expect that square root of a third would be another third. Okay, so what do we get? If we square both sides, square both sides now you'd have known by now that we have to find out x and y and if i find out x and y we get the square root of a plus root b so squaring both sides what do we get you get a plus root b on the left hand side and on the right hand side it will be root x plus root y whole square which is nothing but root x square plus 2 root x y plus root y squared right so you'll get a plus root b is equal to x plus y plus 2 root x y isn't it so from the equality of two thirds which we learned in the previous sessions what do we now infer we infer a must be equal to x plus y and b must be equal to and b must be root b root b sorry root b must be equal to 2 root x y so we find a is equal to x plus y and root b is equal to 2 x y now how to find out x minus y why is it important you will see that if i know x minus y it will be very easy to find x and y now x minus y square can be written as x square plus y square minus 2 x y which can further be written to used as x minus y whole square is equal to x square plus y square plus 2xy and then minus 4xy correct so hence x minus y whole square is x plus y whole square minus 4xy right now hence x minus y whole square is what is x plus y whole square guys so if you see x plus y is a so it is a square and what is minus 4xy so if you see if you square these this relationship you'll get b is equal to 4xy if you square both sides right now so 4xy can be written as b so hence what is x minus y x minus y will be nothing but under root a square minus b correct no and what do i what did we have as x plus y above x plus y was nothing but a so if you see let us say this is equation number one and this is equation number two add one plus two one plus two what will you get you will get 2x is equal to a plus under root a square minus b. So what is x? x is a plus under root a square minus b by 2. And now if you do 1, sorry, 2 minus 2 minus 1, if you do this 2 minus 1, the equation 1 subtracted from 2, you will get 2y is equal to a minus under root a square minus b so hence y is equal to a minus under root a square minus b by 2 okay this is what so hence we could eventually find out x and y right so now let us take an example and see how to find out square root so let us say you have to find out and let me again uh, yeah, so let it be this. Let it be here. So what I'm saying is, let us now find out square root of square root of what seven plus two root ten. This is my. This is a question. Seven plus two root ten, right? So what am I saying? What am I saying? I am saying seven plus two root ten square root is let us say root x plus root y okay so when you square it you will get 7 plus 2 root 10 is equal to 
x plus y plus 2 root x y after squaring isn't it after squaring you will get that that means what x plus y must be equal to 7 and x y must be equal to 10 okay so you can you can further uh, solve this but if you see x y if i take as 2 into 5 then x plus y is equal to 2 plus 5 and both the equations are solved right so hence if you see x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 5 so if you see you will get root 7 plus 2 root 10 is nothing but root 5 plus root 2 right this is the solution